What's going on? Adam from Dimebag Group Project here. Hope you're all well. I've been asked by a lot of people, um, what guitars do I have? And can I do a quick video on what I have? So I've got nine guitars here. I'm just gonna quickly go through each one of them. Uh, I'm gonna do individual videos for each. Um, so let's see what we've got. Okay, so the first guitar that I want to show you is the first guitar that I'd ever bought brand new. So, this one is the Dean Dixie Rebel. It comes with, obviously, the Dimebucker, uh, a licensed Floyd Rose in nickel, um, star inlays, and uh, yeah, Dimebag designed this guitar just before he died, so obviously it's, it's ML shape, it's just pointier on there. The next guitar I want to show you guys is the Dean ML in black with ivory binding. We'll see, similar to the one Dimebag used in Damage Plan. Um, it's been set up with obviously Seymour Duncan's Dimebucker, and I've upgraded the Floyd Rose to a Floyd Rose Special, not from the uh, chunky licensed one that I had. This guitar I have set up in B, F sharp, B, E, G sharp, C sharp. As you can see as well, um, I've got the camo strap just here. Um, if you look at reference photos, then Dimebag actually did have this strap with this particular guitar. Third guitar is, well, this one was the third guitar that I'd actually purchased. Um, the second guitar I'd purchased um, when I was running the rig project and that is the Dean from Hell. So I've relicked this ever so slightly, um, burnt the <laughs> horns on the headstock with um, on the gas stove. Um, Bill Lawrence BL500XL uh, and a Floyd Rose special on here as well. I've put the replica stickers that I sell on here and um, yeah, not that Dime used it on this one, but I've actually got the uh, Cowboys from Hell Washburn Dime Bag Strap for this particular guitar. My fourth guitar is the um, Dean Dime O Flame. Uh, this is in Drop D, originally painted by Rick Dubstep. Um, again, comes with the Seymour Duncan set with the Dimebucker. I've left the um, Floyd Rose as the license, so I've, I've not upgraded this. Traction knobs, um, and just on the side, I've put the Rick Dubstep sticker on here, which I sell on my store as well. Great guitar, plays really nicely. Okay, so the fifth guitar that I bought is um, the Dean T Burst. I've nicknamed this Lemmy as I picked it up on the four year anniversary that Lemmy died. Uh, this is in C, G, C, F, A, D. Um, Seymour Duncan set, Dimebucker. I've upgraded the Floyd Rose to Floyd Rose Special. This is a great, great guitar to play. I really love this one. Okay, so my sixth guitar is the Dean Primal Concrete Sledge. This is in drop D. Um, this is in uh, number 318 out of 333. Comes with a signed certificate of authenticity signed by Vinnie Paul. Um, Bill Lawrence, a, a DMT, and a top mounted Floyd Rose, traction knobs, original kind of graphic that um, Rick Dubstep did and again I've put one of my own stickers on here that I sell on my store uh, to make it look more like dimes. So seventh guitar is the Washburn Funky Monkey Dime Bolt number 23 out of 50. This is in um, C G C F A D. Beautiful guitar, so well, to, nice to play. It's um, specced exactly the same as the D3s. Um, Seymour Duncan set, Dimebucker. Um, it's got a Shaller Washburn Floyd Rose Tremolo. Uh, 
beautiful binding pearl mother of pearl inlays really great guitar So now we're moving on to my project guitars. This one is the uh, Far Beyond Driven uh, ML. Now, Dime's original one was um, a hardtail, as you can tell by these two holes here. This this was a hardtail as well. I've actually routed out a Floyd cavity um, to make it top mounted. I've put a Bill Lawrence um, XL500 in there. so that this looks true to the original um, I've put a black toggle switch on ivory um, pickup surround black pickup surround on this one um, hand burnt the traction knobs with a um, solar iron and obviously put my sticker set that I have for sale on this one as well so this one is the larger sticker set because it's the top floor, top mounted Floyd Rose um, you'll notice uh, Paul Stanley just underneath the tremolo on Dimes original. So I've still got to finish this off, um, but I will be doing a video on how I achieved what I've got to um, very soon. And last but not least is my other project guitar. Um, it was going to be a Crown Royale guitar. Um, I, <laughs> I'd painted it purple, this colour purple here. Um, and started to do the gold leafing uh, as binding. That went wrong and uh, used a bit of acetone to take the uh, gold leaf off and ended up taking out a load of the paint. So uh, I might still do this as a crown royal because the headstock's still painted purple and looks lovely with a gold Dean decal on. Um, but I don't know whether just to strip it back, paint it black, drill a load of holes in here, get the uh, shark bomber sticker just here and have the I'm broken um, ML what do you guys think let me know in the comments below so I know what you're thinking guys what's the deal with the green tape and the reason for the green tape is that if you see any of the videos where people are going through Dimes Vault, uh, whether it be Ola or uh, the Guitar World, for instance, you'll notice that Dime has about 150 different guitars in his vault. Um, and the green tape is literally just for referencing. Um, you can approach a rack of guitars like this. You can see exactly what the guitar is, exactly what tuning it is, uh, and even the serial number. So that's what I've done here. So as you can see for this particular case, um, I've put a little sticker up the top here saying T, that means top. So this is the way the guitar should be stood. Uh, we've got a small strip of inch tape here saying what the um, guitar is. For, so for this instance, it's the Dean Dixie Rebel ML Confed. Okay, the tuning D G C F A D, and then the serial number just here, and I've got that on all my guitars. Another thing I just wanted to touch on was guitar straps. Obviously, I just showed you a, a few different straps that I've got from the years. Um, one being a black Washburn Cowboys from Hell dime bag signature strap in black. Uh, the other one being a camo one. Um, the third one that I have, which I have just here, is the Jody Head studded leather strap. So originally, um, in I would say early 2000s, this strap was released with the um, Washburn logo, the Cowboys from Hell logo, and Dime's signature underneath the Washburn logo. Um, obviously due to licensing, um, Jody can't make these with, the, with that stamped on anymore but she st does still make these straps so uh, yeah I, I got in touch with Jody just when I bought the um, Dean Dixie Rebel uh, back in 2007 2008 and she was making these, these stand up so well I mean I've had this for 12 years so yeah really good condition still uh, really hard wearing I'm going to be ordering a couple more so uh, I'll put a link below um, so you can um, message Jody. I know they're not on her website these particular ones but if you message her and um, just let her know that you're after one of these she'll make one up for you 
So there is one guitar that is missing from this collection and um, it's still with the owner. Uh, I'm still paying for it <laughs> at the moment. Um, and that is a Southern Cross, uh, The Cross, uh, done by Boogie Street Guitars. Uh, obviously, I don't have it here. Um, until it's paid off, it's still with the owner. Um, but yeah, I'll, I'll put a load of photos up after this so you can see exactly what I've purchased. So there we have it, all my guitars, Project Crown Royal, Project Far Beyond Driven, Washburn Funky Monkey, Dean Primal Concrete Sledge, the Dean T-Burst ML as I called Lemmy, we've got the Dean Dymo Flame, we've got the Dean From Hell, we've got the Black ML and we've got my Confederate. What's your favourite one that I have? I know uh, a lot of people are very interested in my uh, Funky Monkey because it's only number 23 of 50 um, and the, the prices are just rocketing up on those at the moment. So I think the last one I saw sell this year in 2020 uh, was uh, well over £2,000. So uh, yeah, um, I'm going to be reluctant to sell it. <laughs> uh, we'll just see how time goes. But um, yeah, let me know what you think of, the, of, of my guitars. Um, what ones would you like to see me use next or purchase next? Um, I'm going to be doing videos on each of these individually. Uh, the project guitars that I've got, I'm going to be doing videos on how I accomplish the final product. So keep your eyes peeled for those. And um, yeah, hope you've had fun looking at my guitars, guys.